my snowmobile's been having problems with the carburetor, so I gotta take it off and bring it inside and fix it. So, here she is. And take the cover off and open up the hood. Alright, so it's the week after we took the ice head off, so there's still not a lot of snow on, on the ground, but here's our leg, it's, it's icy, and that's the reason we haven't been ice fishing very much, because uh, you can't get anywhere uh, with the snowmobiles, because there's no snow on the ground, and then when you go on the lake, you'll melt your runners on your snowmobile, so... That's why we haven't gone fishing anywhere. I might try our lake here in another day's video, but yeah. All right, so I gotta take one of these off. These are carburetors, so it's what brings the gas into the engine from the gas tank. And I don't remember which one I gotta take off. I'll go ask my dad and then we'll get right to it. First, I gotta warm up the snowmobile, so I got the key. I'm not gonna try to start it. Hopefully it'll start this time. <laughs> All right. Never remember which way the key goes in. There we go. And the electric start doesn't work on it anymore. The key for my, this snowmobile, full choke and two primes. Alright, so we got the throttle body off, uh, one of the gas lines, and I think this is the choke. Uh, next we got to take this gas line off. I already got the clip off. I'm just going to put a piece of tape on it so I don't lose it. And then, yeah, just unscrew this and that, and then take it off, bring it inside, clean it out, stick it back on. All right, I didn't feel much of uh, taking the rest of it off, but so here it is. We just took it off. There's uh, the overflow lines. We got to take the bowl off here, and there's little floaty things inside of it that go up and down when there's gas in it. And there's a little needle that goes in, and it's been getting stuck. That's what our problem's been. So we got to clean out around it and through all of these little holes. And yeah. Hopefully she'll run better after. All right, so I just went in for lunch and I'm back out here now. Uh, we got the carburetor all taken apart, the second one actually, because the first one was pretty clean. So we took the other one off and here it is. Um, I'll go show you inside the motor, but we just let it soaked uh, in uh, carburetor cleaner for an hour or so. And now I'm going to blow it out with the air compressor and put it back together. Alright, so here's the inside. Earlier we had this one here off. And there's a box here. It's up there now. We took it off. Now we took the other one off. And we're just cleaning it out. Put it back on. Take it for a test drive. It'll be good. So there it is, it's back in. I gotta put the throttle up on top in there like that. Ooh. 
I'll be back when I get it in. Here we go. Then just screws on the top there. Then this thing, it's a gas line, goes right on there with this, and then this little clip here on my fingers slides up and goes over top of it. Then this is the choke. It goes in that hole there. And then the primer line, which is this one here. Goes on over here on that thing. So yeah, got a little bit of work to do, but it's not bad. I use the hair blower to heat up the gas lines to get them on top of the where they connect so it kind of loosens the plastic up or rubber I mean and it gets uh, nice and kind of squishy and just slide right over top right, so there we have it both of them are back on now we just got to put this big thing it should fit right in there somewhere but down a bit lower so yeah I'll put that on Tighten it up, take for a test drive. Alright, there it is, we've got the box back on. It's time to take it for a ride.